<laughs> Welcome, fans of the Forge, live from Pigeon Forge 2018. We're here with Paul Happy. How you doing, man? I'm doing awesome. I'm doing great. Uh, it's been a great show so far. How many times have you been up on the stage? So far, yesterday I was up there once going. Actually, I'm fixing to be up there just in a few minutes after I, this is over. Who are you going against? Yeah, I don't remember that you one. You don't know who you're going against? I don't. <laughs> I feel like an ass. Oh, Billy Helton. Yep. Billy Helton. That's who it was. All right. High noon, Billy Helton. Got it. So you were on season three, episode five. Correct. Co Cora Sword. The, the Cora Sword. And you were against Robbie Bowman, who Robbie. was putting on this event. Thank you very much, Robbie, by the way. Thank you, Robbie. Um, you were also up there with Josh Smith, who was the youngest master smith in the ABS at the age of 19. And he was. Liam Hoffman, Correct. who was 19 at the time. And he's a beast. He's Liam a beast. is a beast, man. He's a good kid. Were you Now, did you know any of these guys before you went to shoot no, for the episode? No, I did not know them whatsoever. So, Heard of a couple of them, but, yeah. you know. So did you, uh, when you saw Liam working, were you shocked at, like, the endurance and stamina this dude brought to the forge? Like, oh, man, I met Liam, I thought, he's a, he's a beast, man. He's like an old buffed up look like dude. Yeah. And the kid can swing a hammer. Yes, that's for sure. He can swing a hammer. I'm like, wow. It's fun to watch him. I had to stop. Actually, I stopped and turned around for a couple of minutes and just in awe watching the boy. Yeah. Man. Yeah, it was impressive. But everybody, I mean, that was a great episode to watch. You guys had to salvage pieces from chainsaws. Oh, yeah. And what was going through your head when you saw that chainsaw? They're made for cutting trees down. <laughs> I hate, I hate, I've used a chainsaw blade once to make a, a knife. I didn't like it. Okay. And, and what went through my head, they beeped because it came out of my mouth. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> and I, I've, I've tried to do a chainsaw chain, and it turned out like poop. So, yeah, I, did, I was thinking crap. So you chose to do a canister Damascus. Correct. Had you done canister before that? Never. 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 Actually, i never done it. Robbie never done it. And Liam said that he's never done one until that day. Oh, my God. Josh, Josh has done them, you know, several times. Yeah, yeah. And thankfully, I was next to him because I'm like, all right, monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> I won't lie about it. I, that's what I did. Hey, whatever works. It's a it competition. Worked. You're trying to keep up with competition. You yeah. got to do what you got to do. And I was having a blast. So the biggest concern when it got to round two was that your, your blade hadn't hardened properly. Um, when you did the, the quenching and stuff, could you tell right away that there might be some issues? Or? Actually, when I, I, I quenched it in round two again, yeah, and I was sitting there drawing the back of it back, and I was running a, a paper towel over the edge, keeping that cool. Well, I didn't get to wiping that edge fast enough, and it sucked down the purple. It went purple. Oh. So that spot, I knew I was, I was done. I knew that, and I wasn't. I had an hour to put a handle on and sharpen it. Like I, I knew I was done. Well, it was a shame, but you know, you had a little bit of. Uh, let's see here. So testing, there was a bit of a chip that broke out uh, when they did the. Actually, it bent. It bent. And it, it's right where it, whenever it turned purple and blue. Yeah. That's right in the sweet spot of your blade, and that's where Jason hit that stinking brass rod. Yeah. And that's that's what happened. It it curled it. Oh, it, it curled it, it up. It turned okay. it soft. Gotcha. Um, but it's still cut during the sharpness test. Oh, yeah. Um, but because of the judge's concerns about the hardness, that's why you were uh, sent off the show. Correct. So it was an admirable performance. Obviously, we are very new to forging in general, never mind making blades and, and that sort of thing. So oh, we'll we can only imagine. We'll what was that? I said, come over and we'll play. Oh, I got awesome. the forge set up right over there. Y'all come over. Oh, we'll definitely come over and, and hit the hit some metal with you. Yeah. Um, so we got three more questions for you. Um, first, um, what is your favorite style of blade to make? A hunter. A hunter? Okay, cool. Stainless or no stainless? Stainless guard. Stainless guard, okay. A car, I'm a carbon guy. Gotcha. Um, do you do a lot of Damascus at all? I do some, but not a lot. What's your favorite style to do? <laughs> it's easy, it's random stuff. <laughs> random? <laughs> Just put that stuff together. Well, great. That's all we got for questions for you. Yeah, that's it, man. Oh, man. Well, thank I, you for I sticking I thought I was going to be here forever. <laughs> 
Hey, thank you for joining us, and um, we will definitely stop by later and, and chat with you. Oh, yeah, come by. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Paul Happy. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you.